Hey guys, my name is Funparo. The preseason is officially out and we have new items, runes, and rift changes that came out. If you haven't seen the changes, I highly recommend checking out the patch notes. I'll be making many new videos on the power of some of the new changes that have entered the rift. In this video, I want to review the new legendary item known as Shadow Flame. Shadow Flame costs 3000 gold and is made with the recipe components of Hextrack Alternator and a Neosu Large Rod. In terms of stats, the item gives 100 ability power and 200 health. Shadow Flame's passive, Cinder Bloom, says that damage to champions will benefit from 10 to 20 flat magic pen based on the target's current health. The maximum value of 20 magic pen will be achieved when the target is at 1000 or less HP, and the minimum value of 10 magic pen will be achieved when enemy champions are at 2500 or more HP. A thing to note is that if the target was affected by a shield recently, they will be affected by the 20 magic pen from Shadow Flame. There were claims that Void Staff is generally better to buy, so let's compare these two items. Void Staff was affected with the preseason as well. In terms of changes, the price of Void went up by 100, the ability power decreased by 5, and the magic pen percentage increased by 5%. In terms of the actual stats, Void Staff will now cost 2800 gold, give you 65 ability power, and 45% magic pen. And also some damage equations that I've created to see the differences in these items. The equation for Shadow Flame is 100 over 100 plus in parentheses, MR minus 10 to 20 magic pen, and then multiply this by damage. The equation for Void Staff is 100 over 100 plus 0.55 MR, and then you multiply damage to this fraction. I also made sure there are no external factors affecting the damage, just runes. Let's look at some cases. Let's first compare the items by themselves with no additional factors. I'll be using Fiddlesticks with max level E to wheel these items and test the damages. I'll be creating inequalities to determine what MR values are needed for Void Staff to do more. In this first case, I combine the two damage equations and use the minimum 10 magic pen value. When I do this, in order for Void Staff to do more, the MR value of the target must exceed 41.96 MR. Looking at the case with the maximum value of 20 magic pen, the target must have greater than 66.33 MR for Void Staff to do more. Now let's add some other items to the context. Fiddle now has Rocket Belt, Sork Shoes, Death Cap, and then either has Void Staff or Shadow Flame. Look at the 10 magic pen case or the minimum value case. The enemy must have greater than 33.42 magic resistance for Void Staff to do more. Looking at the maximum value, 20 magic pen case, the enemy must have greater than 57.39 MR for Void Staff to do more. Also remember that if champions have shielding done to them in the last five seconds, you will get the maximum value. Another thing to note is the nature of magic resistance. Magic resistance does increase throughout the game, and there are other things that affect it, like runes or dragons. Champions also have base MR values, so when you are in a game, what you must do is click on the enemy and check their magic resistance values. Take a look at their MR values and the people you are damaging. Also look at the nature of shielding on the enemy team. For example, they might have a Karma or Lulu, or maybe even Mountain Soul. Obviously there are so many different cases, but by looking at the two I've provided, I hope this serves as a guide to help you decide in your future games. I think that with the nature of many factors like runes, mountain dragon items, and more, Void Staff tends to be a better item. Something to also know is that Void Staff is cheaper. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what you'd like to see next. Let's thank you guys for watching. I wish you the best of luck with the upcoming season, and have a great day.